Okay, so I've been getting some questions on what you could put in a red bag, what would you put in a red bag, um, and how can you lay it out, what fits where. I'm just gonna show you, uh, this is actually a black bag. This is the Mystery Ranch Flight Monster. This thing is huge. It's quite a bit bigger uh, than a red bag. Um, as you can see, I'll show a comparison. So uh, the red bag is uh, all of your gear that you're gonna need for going on an out of county or off forest assignment. Um, so this flight monster, it holds everything. I really like the layout and I'm just gonna show you what I bring and how I store it. Whatever you pack, whatever you need is gonna be pretty unique to where you're working on your crew, your module, um, and uh, what other people on your crew have told you are good items they like to carry. I'll just show you what I have. So I'm gonna start from the outside in. So on the outside, those are the things that you like to keep readily available. So I got these big straps on these little side pouches. Um, small Velcro is where the backpack straps are in case you wanna turn this thing into um, a little more like a backpack. But uh, first of all, with everything cinched down, um, uh, with the buckles, you, you can tighten it up pretty good. Um, this outer zipper here is, uh, they say is for dirty laundry or stuff in your sleeping bag in. You can, uh, it's like a, a tube sleeve where you can shove stuff in there, sleeping bag or dirty clothes and it's gonna keep it separate from the stuff on the inside, okay? So uh, just on the outside, some items that uh, um, I need to get to sometimes are like your space blanket. So if you just need to, you don't need to get everything inside, you're just gonna be able to lay down for a little bit or to keep yourself dry, you need, just need to grab a space blanket. That's what I keep on the outside. And then right here on the inside, without having to open everything up, there's this nice little pouch right here at the opening. And these are things I like to keep handy, such as a headlamp, uh, insect net, uh, insect repellent, uh, and of course, the wet wipes, dry wipes, and a phone charger. So USB charger plugs in to a BK radio. So it snaps right on there if uh, you need to charge something up. All right, and then moving on to the uh, internal. Once we open this thing up, okay, you're gonna have uh, extra yellows, extra pants. Uh, I have extra blue pants in here. Yours will probably be green, but uh, one, you, you definitely need an extra pair of fire gear because you get into uh, some poison oak or you damage your stuff or you're gonna send yours into laundry. Uh, you're gonna need something else to put on. So I got extra sets of those, um, blue shirts, and then a towel. Um, usually it's provided in base camp, fire camp at the showers, but uh, if you're able to, to get in a creek or something uh, just to wash up, it's good to have your own towel. And then in here, um, just gonna have a jet boil. So uh, jet boil just to either Heat up, some, heat up some water for some food or for some coffee. And speaking of food and coffee, in here on the top, I'll keep some food. So I got like a Patagonia camping meal is what I have in here, um, much better than an MRE, but I'll just need to add some hot water. Um, same thing with some uh, protein source with some uh, salmon and some um, instant coffee. So that's kind of some foods that I'll keep in there. Uh, and then just more changes of socks, change of pants, underwear, uh, shirts, um, a laundry bag or a bee net, um, and also compression shorts. This is what I wear for undergarments, uh, an extra belt, maybe some extra laces coffee mug is going to come in handy when you are able to boil water and make some coffee. Uh, make sure you also keep a utensil in your bag. So if you, if you get some food and you need um, a fork, spoon, knife, spork, whatever you need. Um, I do have a set of cold gear, so a beanie and gloves and a lot of the stuff I carry you see in stuff sacks so that if I just need one thing, I can clip it onto my pack or throw it in my pack without having just a whole bunch of loose items. And uh, getting down towards the bottom, I'm also going to keep a pair of civilian uh, or some shower shoes. Those are going to be handy. You don't want to uh, be stepping in them showers. 
after everybody else so uh, have a pair of sandals and also uh, any civvies that you'll need if uh, you're part of a department that goes 24 down they may need to put you up uh, you have to stay in a in a, a lodging or you have to go someplace else uh, in the public to get your food so um, sometimes it may not be appropriate to be in uniform so that's an instance where you might need some civilian clothes and have some of those handy um, so just a change of everything and then on the bathroom uh, bag uh, just be careful anything in here it has a uh, tendency to explode so I think everything's usually covered with uh, some gold bond uh, you know once the powder explodes but uh, also any liquids uh, lotion sunblock uh, any hair care products or anything usually gonna spill out but you're just really gonna need a toothbrush some toothpaste and uh, a way to shave uh, if that's what you're going to be doing so or you can just uh, go for the beard or the goatee but um, those are just some things that, that I carry and I almost forgot super important um, some of you've been asking where the sleeping bag and therm rest can go on this bag so I really like these long torpedo compartments on the side so in one side that's where I'll keep the therm rest and also a bivy a waterproof sack for the sleeping bag and then on this other torpedo compartment on the side is where the sleeping bag will just stuff in the side that's where i choose to keep it that's how i chose to lay this out but um this this pack is great it's huge if you're looking for something a little closer to the red bag size they make a regular um, monster not the flight monster um, and again it's closer to that fss uh, standard issue red bag so just some things you can carry get with the folks on your crew um, and get some uh, input on some items and that's what i got let me know if you have any questions if there's anything else i can help you with just uh, give me a message or a dm thanks